So since this heifer hit 300 days gestation today, I thought it would be a good idea to start doing more frequent checks of her udder, her belly, her tail, all that good stuff. Because last year when I did it, I started when they were closer to having their babies. And I want to show you all the difference of a mare who is not close to having her baby as she progresses to full length. So Trudy's due date is February 12th, but her safe day to give birth, I believe, is January 24th. So we could be having a baby this month. So when I get to the point where I'm doing daily checks of these brood mares, because it'll get to a point where I have multiple mares to check all at once. I'll check and see if their belly has dropped, meaning has the baby dropped down and got into position. I'll check how soft they are in their tail region because it'll soften up when it's getting close to folding uh, to allow the fold to come through a lot easier. And their tail will get a lot looser as well to allow the baby to come out. And their bag, meaning their udder, will get really full and will get wax on it. Wax is like coagulated milk at the tip of the teats, and that is usually a sign that the mare is getting close, but not always. So here's a look at her belly at 300 days. She's definitely low, but when she gets closer, you'll notice a point right about there, and that's the baby's back feet because it'll be getting into the birth canal to go feet first, like so front feet and nose out first, and its little back feet will be down here. Then I'll come over here and I'll press down in this region. She's still pretty tight. You know, she's a little loose right there, but it'll get to absolute jello when that baby is getting ready to come out. Let's see how, yeah, so her tail stopped about there. When she is ready, it'll literally be able to flip over her back. Thank you for putting up with this. Last but not least, let's look at her udder. So you see, she's starting to get a little bit of milk, but nothing too much yet. So that was our first broodmare checkup of the 2023 foaling season. How exciting is that? Let me know if you have any questions.